video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called product of array except self. So given an integer array nums, return an integer array, right, an array answer such that array, uh, answer at i is equal to product of all nums uh, except nums at i. So basically, you can see that um, we given a integer array and we want to, uh, for each and every single position, right, we want to get a product of the array except the current element itself. So let's say, for example, this element right here, um, basically the product of the array is 24, right? And the product uh, of the array except the current element, which is going to be 22, right? So 20, uh, sorry, 24 divided by 1, which is basically 24. And let's say we have this one example right here. Then in this case, um, the product of the entire array is 24. And dividing or except this element will be 12, right? 12, 24 divided by 2 is basically just 12, right? So you can see we have 12 here at this position. And for the product of the entire array is 24, except this current element. So it will be 24 divided by 3, which is going to be 8, right? So we have 8 at the output array at the same position, right? And same thing here, the uh, the product of the entire array is 24, 24 divided by 4 is 6. So 6 in this case is basically the product of the array except the current element, right? In this case, the current element is 4. So in this case, the goal is we want to complete this problem using a linear time complexity, and we do not want to use the division operation. So in this case, um, we could also ex uh, expect that we could have negative values and uh, yeah, basically you can see that they're guaranteed that we are going to have at least two elements in the array. So in this case, how can we be able to solve this problem? Well, this problem, uh, we know that if I want to know the product of the array except the current element, which is three, uh, what we have to do is we have to know the, the, the product for the left subarray and times the product of the right subarray, right? In this case, the total, right, the product out of those two will give us eight. So that's basically the answer, right? That's the product of the array except the current element, right? So what we have to do then is one way we can do is we can use a brute force approach, which we basically have to iterate to the left, iterate to the right to find the product. But what we can do instead is we can be basically do something similar to what we did in Trap Green Water, right? Uh, Lico, I think Lico 42 or something. But basically what we can do is we can use cache to store the prefix and the postfix, right, uh, in a two D uh, in two arrays, um, and then at the end we can be able to get the product for each and every single position, right, except the current element, right, because we cannot use division. So basically, it looks something like this, right. So we so getting the prefix, we want to know the um, the 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 product on the left side for the current position, right. So the product of on the left side is basically one. The product on the left side for this element is basically going to be one, right, times its left product, which is one. So it will give us one here, right? And then this one right here, the product on the left is basically two, right, times the product on the left for this element is one. So in this case, uh, it's going to be two, right? So for this element, what's going to happen is that uh, we're going to get the product on the left, which is going to be three, right? times the product on the uh, the, the, the product of the array, the left subarray for this element, which is basically two, right? Two times three, which is six. So that's basically the product or the left subarray's product for this element, right? So once I know the prefix for uh, for the elements on the, for each element's left, uh, right? The left subarray, what I need to know is I need to know the each, every, each and every single element's product on the right subarray, right? So in this case, we, we get the, we do the post fix, right? For the post fix, uh, in this case, on the right, we're starting from the end to the start. So in this case, for four, right, there's nothing on the right, so we have one. And then for this element right here, we, what we're gonna do is that we, we will have to try to find the product on the right subarray. In this case, the right subarray is four times one, which is basically four, right? So, and then once we get to here, it's basically the product for the, the, the adjacent element, which is three, times the product, the total, uh, the product of the right subarray for this element, which is basically four, right? So four times three, which is 12. And then for when we get, once we get to this position, right? Uh, we get, we get the product for two times the, uh, the product of the right subarray for this element, which is 12, 12 times two, which is basically 24. 
And then what's gonna happen is that now I know the left product and I know the right product, I, need, I can be able to create a result array, right? A result array, um, and then in this case, the left product is one, the right product is 24. We get the product out of those two is basically 24. And then this is the left product is basically one, the right product is basically 12. So we get the, the, uh, the product of the array except this element, which is basically 12. And then this element is eight, and then six, right? And then so on and so forth, right? So you can see that this is basically how we can be able to solve the problem. But the time complexity is gonna be big O of n, and space complexity is also gonna be big O of n. So how can we be able to use just only one array? What's the problem using just one array, right? What we can do is that we know that for each and every single element, we need to know the prefix. We need to know the product uh, on the left subarray before the current element, right? So what we need to do is first is that we have to do that first, right? We have to use the current result array, right? We can be able to um, overwrite the result array at the end, right? First, what we have to do is we have to get the prefix for each and every single element. So what's gonna happen is we have, for this element, it's gonna be one, one, uh, two, and then here it's gonna be six, right? Once we get the prefix for each and every single element, what's gonna happen is that uh, we will use the same array to get the um, to also calculate the 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 post the postfix as well as the the product of the array except current element right. So in this case, what we can do is we can have a variable called postfix, and we know that for this element on the right is basically nothing, so it's just one right. So in this case, uh, what's going to happen is that the post uh, the the product of the array for this current element right. In this case, at this position, right, is six, right, because in this case is basically the product of the left subarray for this element right here. So, and then we also have the postfix, basically it's one, right. That's the product for all the elements on the right side, right. Basically, it's one. So what we can do is that we can use this information. This is our left product, and this is our right product. We can get the get the product out of those two, which basically is going to be six, right. So we just overrides that is six, right? So it's gonna be the the result at current position times the postfix, right? Uh, will give us the product of the array except self, right? And then what's gonna happen is that we have to change the postfix. In this case, the postfix, right, is basically the, um, the, the product on the right subarray, right? So now it's gonna be four, right? So it's gonna be four, and then we're at the, this position right here. So in this case, this position's left product is two, so two times four, which is to give us eight, right? So in this case, um, this will give us the product of the array except the current element. And then once we get to this element right here, uh, we know that this, so the postfix now it should be um, three, which should be 12, right? Because in this case, these are all the elements, uh, the product on the right subarray should be 12, right? So one, after we uh, change the result at the position, we have to change the postfix as well. So once we get to this position, uh, we know that the, um, the the left right the left product is one, and the right product right the postfix for the current element is twelve. So twelve times one is basically twelve, right? And then once we get to this element right here, we know that uh, we also have to change the postfix before we get to this element. So in this case, twelve times two, which is basically twenty four, right? So this is basically that's basically the right product for this element. So in this case is gonna be the left product, right, for this element, which is one, times 24, which give us 24, right? So we'll have 24 here. So at the end, this is basically uh, what we're gonna return at the end. So as you can see inside the, uh, in the code, basically we create the result array. We get a prefix. The first element is gonna be one. So in this case, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start to iterate, starting from index one to the end of the array. And then basically, like I said, like I said before, right? Um, we're just trying to get the prefix uh, for or the left product for each and every single element. So in this case, it's going to be um, the previous, right? The previous uh, product, right? The the left product, the previous left product times the previous element will give us the left subarray product, right? And then we store that in the current position. So what's gonna happen then is we're gonna get the product array except self, right? So as well as the, the, the postfix for the right product, uh, right subarray's product. So we start from the end of the array. We know that 
there's nothing on the right. So in this case, the product for the post fix is one. So for if we starting from the last element, working our way to the to the first element. So what's going to happen then is we already know that for the current position rest at i right result at i is basically the left uh, the the prefix right the left the left product for the current position times the the right product for the current position will give us the product array except self right and then we have to modify the postfix right which is equal to the postfix itself times the current elements and at the end we basically achieve the this one right here right so you can see that this will give us just only using one array and we can be able to solve the problem. So this is how we solve this problem and thank you for watching.